हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे विल डिस्कस ऑन घोष्ट गेस्ट और गिफ्ट ऑथरशिप इन ए सबमिटेड मैनुस्क्रिप्ट एंड दिस इज इन्फोग्राफिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन एंड दैट इज अवेलेबल एट कोफ कमिटी ऑन पब्लिकेशन एथिक्स एंड अगेन दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ सी पी ई आर पी ई रिसर्च एंड पब्लिकेशन एथिक्स I have already, you know, uploaded few videos uh, related to module one and module two of research and publication ethics. If you have not gone through those video, man, please, uh, you know, look into those as well. I have, I will keep it in uh, the I button. And uh, this particular topic is um, is uh, you know that are related to it. Uh, you can say uh, potential uh, authorship problem, and this is uh, in module three. so let's start uh, let's uh, you know um, say that a researcher or a author has planned or has drafted a manuscript and has planned to submit to to a journal so the initial stage at the first stage uh, once that particular manuscript is being submitted you know the assigned editor or the associate editor um, uh, they just suspect uh, that there is some sort of you know a problem that is there with the authorship then they will suspend uh, the peer review process what they will do they will look into the acknowledgement and the author declaration part if that is uh, you know uh, everything is well and good as per the particular general policy or you know the uh, this uh, rule and regulation what they are following if it is okay with that then it is then it is good if not they will uh, you know write to the corresponding author they will they will uh, send uh, all the policies that are related with uh, you know the authorship uh, you know uh, let's say statement or general policy on policies on authorship and uh, they will seek uh, uh, you know sort of explanation and they will request declaration by all the author and uh, if uh, if that is not previously available so they will uh, seek that information and they will request information of individual contributors if as well um, because uh, you know uh, if uh, all the author or in you know, the co-author that are involved in the particular work and if they write who is the for you know author who has drafted the manuscript or who has evaluated who has worked on the software who is who has uh, work on the methodology part who has reviewed it all sort of information if they have it then that is fine or else they will uh, get it from the author they will try to get it from the author and uh, the corresponding author can compile it and can uh, send it back to the uh, editor and uh, you can see if now we'll try to understand based on the response if it is satisfactory first we'll see this case if it is satisfactory then okay they will proceed with the peer review process or the publication stage if it is already passed the peer review process and is being you know about to publish so it will uh, you know further it will proceed for publication or peer review if there is sort of doubt remains or need more information and then they will try to contact the author they will check the medline google for the current affiliation they will uh, ask about their role whether any author have omitted or they there is some you know have uh, sort of concern related to authorship they will seek uh, that from the all the author and they then they will you know go back this is a process where the you know um, back loop you can see and again they will uh, try to get the information and again they will check again they will verify all the sort of thing the cases of 1 to 4 if it is 3 then fine then it will proce proceed for further review or publication and if it is again 4 then again it will go back if it is falling under first case or second case will uh, let's see what is happening first uh, let's see the first case where the authorship role is missing and for example the contributor list does not include anybody who has analyzed or being you know prepared the first draft if that is missing then they might suspect for the ghost author 
and they they will suggest to include that missing author and they will ask to add it and they will ask for the revised uh, manuscript in that process get agreement of from the author related to authorship change in writing and by all the author it has to be done and letter should also clearly state the general authorship policy or or they if they want uh, to refer to the icmj guideline on the published you know uh, criteria and may express concern or disappointment if a senior author is involved they might uh, report to the institute by copying a mail to the head of the department possibly to the research governance as well so that you need to be careful if you are of doing such thing and let's say if it is uh, second category where the list of author does not meet the authorship criteria this authorship criteria i have already discussed uh, you can view the playlist uh, you can you will get the you know the criteria that is being uh, described by icmje and uh, the condition actually and uh, who will be you know uh, who will be credited as author so that we have discussed then let's say that is where it is leading to guest and gift author and that is being identified so they suggest this guest and gift author name to be removed and can be put in the acknowledgement section so in this first case it was suggested to include if there is a ghost author you uh, i just want to make the difference when uh, they have identified the editor has identified about the ghost author they being you know asked the author being asked to include the name and again uh, they will give sort of explanation and uh, based on the uh, general policy they will be you know asked to proceed further whereas when guest and gift author is being identified they will again ask to remove them from the listed author so again this will lead to this process where they will get the agreement and declaration and uh, um, a written you know kind of uh, agreement uh, by all the author why they have done it and uh, why the changes has been made based on the general policy they have to you know uh, they have to produce and again if this two case number 1 and case number 2 has been sorted out then it will be proceed further for the review or let's say publication but again um, it is up to the journal to process the paper which uh, they identified or they found about ghost or guest you know guest or gifted uh, authorship related dispute or problem so this is where you know they will again uh, give all sort of information related to policy general policy or let's say you know uh, instruction about the journal to the authors so that uh, they should follow the guideline uh, while communicating to that journal and uh, if that uh, is done then the the process is completed it will be uh, further you know uh, processed for the publication or for let's say for the review so this is what about uh, you know a kind of uh, authorship related problem uh, mainly when a article or a manuscript is submitted and ghost gift and guest authorship or uh, uh, you know sort of thing is being identified so thank you for watching uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to this channel and uh, stay tuned will come up with more videos uh, related to research and publication ethics and